Okay, guys, I'm here to give my review for this week's Monday Night Raw, January the 16th. So, these are going to be every two weeks I'm going to do a Raw and a SmackDown review. Power Rangers uh, Ninja Steel is coming up, so that's going to be filling time of mine. But I'm not going to have a Power Rangers Ninja Steel review up until ep after episode 2 because, well, I read the first two episodes of Dino Charge and Dino Supercharge together, so I'm going to do the same for Ninja Steel. So, this week's Raw opened up with, no surprise, a promo from Roman Reigns who said that basically it took two guys to beat him and he doesn't lose a one-on-one -on -one match, so he will lead the Royal Rumble as the Universal Champion and made him in his third WrestleMania. He gets interrupted by Kevin o he gets interrupted by Paul Heyman. They get inter who just says that Brock Lesnar's in the building. They get interrupted by Chris Jarrell and Kevin Owens. They get interrupted by Seth Rollins who says he will win the Royal Rumble. And Braun Strowman comes out, says he will win the Royal Rumble. Brock comes out and as Brock's staring down, Sami Zayn comes out of nowhere. Okay? That would have been better if he would have delivered an RKO when he came out of nowhere, but whatever. Uh, and then Brock Lesnar kind of, sort of, well, he did what Brock Lesnar does. Owens and Jericho escaped, but Rollins, Reigns, Zayn, and Strowman all got, well, Strowman didn't get any of Lesnar, but Rollins, Reigns, and Strowman, and uh, Zayn did. Uh, he suplexed Rollins, he... When he ate a Superman punch from Reigns, sold it for 30 seconds, and then F5 Reigns, he suplexed Sami Zayn, and then Brock pretty much left. So this was kind of a waste of Brock Lesnar. Although I hear him and Goldberg are going to be on a lot of WrestleMania, a lot of Raws to be now in WrestleMania. So, yeah. Our opening match of Raw. You know, I may not talk, I may not hit on every situ situation of Raw, but I'll try to hit on the main stuff. Uh, we had a match, that was a tag match, it was Rusev and Jinder Mahal taking on Enzo and Cass, Enzo and Cass won. We had a tag title match, Anderson and Gallows versus Cesaro and Sheamus, and what was the best match on this Raw, uh... Anderson and Gallows hit the magic killer on Cesaro, get the win, and are announced as the tag team champions, but the original referee disqualifies Cesaro and Sheamus because Sheamus had accidentally hit him. Uh, now, Dusty finishes work really if the face is the victim of the Dusty finish, not the heel. <laughs> so I don't really understand the booking about that. The Titus O'Neil New Day segment continued again. This time, Titus was trying to... Get one of the New Day's Royal Rumble spot he took on Big E, and Big E won. So much for that. We had three Cruiserweight segments on Raw. One was um, Ari Davari versus Lince Dorado, and Ari Davari won. Jack Gallagher was on commentary for this. Uh, you had a, you were supposed to have a match between Tony Nese and uh, Rich Swan, and I got off the ground because now because Neville attacks Swan. And then you had Cedric Alexander versus uh, Brian Kendrick. Noam Dar was watching backstage. Alicia Fox helps Brian Kendrick win. Uh, Cedric Alexander win, and then he ignores Alicia. And no, I did not watch Two or Five Live, so I don't really know how else that progressed. So uh, we also got our first announcement of the uh, WWE Hall of Fame class, and it turned out that it's your Olympic hero and mine, Kurt Angle. Who's coming home. And yes, it was a surprise to Kurt Angle at the time. Because he didn't know about it until the day that they announced him. But mm, generally, these Hall of Fame inductions are not done to a lot of fanfare. Generally. Uh, they just say, hey, here's our next inductee to the Hall of Fame is such such. That's generally what they do. Uh, so, yeah. The main event was a six-man tag. It was Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Sami Zayn who tried to reenact the shield against Braun Strowman and Jarrah KO in an okay six-man tag for what it was. Uh, Strowman and Jarrah KO won when Strowman uh, power slams Zayn. Yeah. Raw, 
and that's and then Raw went off the air. You had uh, Seth Rollins, Petty Ring Jericho on the stage. Owens, uh, Strowman took him down, and then Reigns speared Strowman, and then Reigns and uh, Rollins wanted to put Owens through to the announce table, but uh, Owens beats up Rollins, and then he manages to powerbomb Reigns through the table. Uh, looking strong for the first time in his entire title reign. So I guess the WWE wants to try to plant a seed of doubt that Roman Reigns will leave the Royal Rumble as the Universal Champion, which I think most of us ex- are expecting at this point. It would be a, it would be a surprise if he didn't win, to be quite honest. Uh, the biggest pro I can give Raw that makes it infinitely better than last week was no Stephanie McMahon and no Mick Foley. That was good. And in my SmackDown review, yes, it, that I'll get it up tomorrow. Yeah, okay, Shane McMahon showed up on SmackDown, but it was for an actual reason. It wasn't just he was there. It was for an actual reason, and which is generally what SmackDown does right with the authority figures. They tend to only show up when there's a reason for them to show up. So, yeah, Raw was not a horrible show. I don't think it was a good watch, but it wasn't a horrible show, mind you. Uh, next week's to go home show that are on for both Raw and SmackDown, so maybe both of them can be equally good. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, so tomorrow will be my SmackDown review. Uh, if you like this video, like button down there, subscribe button down there, and thank you for watching. Bye.